remember when you first arrived. Welcome back, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Bowden the Great, and I have an addiction. I have an addiction to finding and playing new farming style sims, and this week I found a game called Lightyear Frontier which combines two things that I absolutely love, farming sims and mechs. But before I get into showing you all the things that I love about what I've seen so far, please do not forget to subscribe because you won't want to miss out on some of these great games. Lightyear Frontier is a peaceful open world farming adventure set on a planet at the far edge of the galaxy. You crash land on a new planet on your way to start a new life as an exo farmer. Using your mech, you're able to harvest supplies from around the planet and grow crops in order to get your life restarted. Explore the alien planet you've crashed on to uncover a mystery from the alien species past. So right out the gate, if you don't like having to deal with survival elements, then this game will be right up your alley because the devs have already confirmed that there won't be any enemy aliens to go up against, which I honestly don't hate the idea of. While I do love my fair share of mech fighting games, like games such as Chrome Hounds on the Xbox 360, or even piloting mechs in No Man's Sky, it's a lot more of a unique approach to a mech farming game to make your mech more akin to a farm tractor than an actual tank. It even has got that sort of tractor appearance in its design. With that said, removing any combat in the game puts a lot more pressure on the other elements of the game, specifically farming, building, and exploration. Let's talk about farming since this really is first and foremost a farming game. It's got your normal farming loop with a mech twist since the vast majority of farming will be done from your mech. You'll gather seeds from exploring around the planet that can be planted using the Seed Shooter Mech Module while you use your Irrigation Hose Module to water your newly planted seeds. The crops they've shown thus far sort of look like alien variations to crops we have here on Earth like corn and wheat. Despite it having a similar look, I do like the art direction they've taken with them. The core farming gameplay loop is grow your crops, sell them at the merchant for more supplies, or use them in crafting. Pretty standard gameplay, but I do hope that you're able to buy more than just supplies from the merchant, like maybe cosmetics or new blueprints for building and decorating. You'll be able to upgrade your mech's modules to make them more efficient, which I love. I'm hoping that with each upgrade, it'll change the look of the attachment and not just the color like so many other farming sims do in upgrading. For example, the basic level one module should look very slim and sleek with minimal design, and as you upgrade it, it looks more sophisticated and detailed. Just a thought. Now moving on to the exploration component of things from what we've seen thus far, there are so many breathtaking scenes from the massive planets in the view from our planet to beaches to even unique looking rock formations. Even traveling at night despite there being no hostile aliens is just very spooky. There appear to be some sort of alien ruins that you can discover which may unlock some kind of new tech for our mech or maybe just tech for our farm in general. Time will tell. I just really hope that exploration is rewarding in terms of rare materials or maybe fun events or puzzles that will reward us with maybe new tech instead of just exploring to gather more basic materials. Now speaking of gathering materials, building your new home will really make or break the game in my opinion. They've showcased a fair amount of farming buildings like silos, chests, and farm plots, but in terms of actual decorations, there also appears to be a fair amount which is shown in their multiplayer update video. My biggest concern though is that you'll only be able to just look at them and not actually able to interact with them. For example, the house you can build, will you be able to go inside it and decorate it, or will it just be purely aesthetic and you can't even go inside? From what we've seen so far, it looks like your home option is really only one prefab option, meaning we can't design the walls, roof, and window placement ourselves, which is fine, but I really hope that we can go inside and even decorate the interior. They've just recently showcased you're able to get out of your mech and run around, which I think is definitely necessary, and hopefully it means that you'll be able to interact with some of the decorations in our human form. So fingers crossed they'll add that in. So now let me talk some of the game elements. I'll give you my general thoughts on what I think the game really needs to be successful aside from what I just mentioned. Firstly, customization. While I do like the design of the mech, I would really love to be able to unlock different looking chases, legs, arms, etc. for our mech. I think it'd be a great way to incorporate the alien ruins to be that within the alien ruins is maybe a tough puzzle that at the end teaches you a new tech that will allow you to customize your mech. Now I'm not saying that we need 50 different options for each limb, but even three to five option types per body part would be nice, especially to add some variety when playing with friends so it's just not different color schemes. This goes the same for our player. Different cosmetics would be nice to be able to customize our human. Since they've already showcased water in the form of ponds and ocean in the game, being able to maybe upgrade our mech to explore the oceans would be a great idea to improve on exploration or even just allowing us to catch fish would be a lot of fun. Now the final thing that I would like to see is since this game is set in the future on a different planet, I'd really like to see some things in the way of advanced farming tech. Obviously a mech itself is advanced, but I'm talking more so in the buildings that we're able to build. 
I'd like to see more stuff than just a space looking silo or windmill or farming plot. Maybe some way to eventually craft little robots that will auto water our crops for us or maybe like an alternate energy source that's more advanced than just a windmill. Anyways, I'm super excited for this game and really looking forward to hearing more about it. Currently, they're showing a release date of quarter one of 2024, and I really cannot wait. Now, what feature do you want to see most in this game? Is it a more fleshed out base building or maybe a deeper exploration mechanic with lots of puzzles or collectibles to find and solve? I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out.